Hey guys, Javano here again with my second video for my Redstone for Dummies series. But uh, before we get into the actual Redstone stuff, if you may or may not have noticed, um, today Minecraft Beta 1.2 is released and there are a bunch of additions to the game and bug fixes. And one of the main additions is down here, which is a new water mob. It was here a second ago. Uh, Sure, where he got to. I was just uh, swimming around, and there he is, stuck in this little hole. It's an octopus! Yeah. Uh, these guys look like they spawn in only really deep water. Ooh, there's two of them. Um, ow. Oh. They don't seem to be hostile. I think they're just more like a different kind of animal. And I have not killed one yet, so I'm just gonna see what they drop. If they do not. Oh. And they drop, looks like tentacles or something of the sort. Can't eat them. I'm gonna get back to land. But, uh, yeah, there is, uh, among those, there's note blocks which, uh, play a sound when you left click them and you can. Ooh, ink sack. Um, there are 15 kinds of wool dyes which I'm assuming you use these ink sacks for. Not sure how you go about doing that, but uh, that's for another video. Back to the point. Um, today we're going to be talking about logic gates, which are the main part of redstone circuitry. Uh, logic gates basically they change the output of a component depending on different conditions, and those conditions depend on the different kind of logic gate you're using. People, um, anybody who's done any sort of programming chances are, even if they don't know the word logic gate, they've used them before. You can't program without using logic gates. Um, there's everything from the simple not gate, which is what you, the majority of what you're going to be using, which one variety of that is just having a torch one block higher than a trail, and then trail continuing on from that. But basically, this is a not gate. A not gate implies that when this is not on, when the input is not on, the output will be on. So, say the input is on, the output will not be on. It just kind of inverts the signal. Just in case you want to, uh, it's good for detecting if this is going to, or this has stuff going to it or not. And also, if you have a really long redstone trail, I believe it's 15 blocks maximum, the um, redstone will actually eventually just burn out. Here, I'll see if I can get that happening for you. See if that's 15 blocks. Which is actually really annoying. See, there we go. See, it's light here, and then it just dies here. After 15 blocks, I think it is. So, uh, one way to get around that is to have not gate, and another not gate, which any pretty much everybody knows two knots, or two negatives make a positive. So, it just kind of extends the uh, signal, if you will. And then you got things like AND gates, which are probably the simplest, just because it's a bunch of trails that just connect into one. Like, oh, there's a bump there. Here. So... Or this is an OR gate, sorry. Um, yeah, OR gate. Which is, here. which basically means that if any of these is on, this output trail is on. So you can have torches at all of these, and this will still be on. So as long as any of these are lit, the uh, output's on. But as soon as all of them are gone, the output's off. Here, oh, zombies coming! Here, let's fix that. There. Then, yeah, so uh, basically there's a whole bunch. There's nots, there's ands, there's ors, there's nors, there's nans, there's xors, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Like you can get some crazy stuff like flip-flops and implication gates. Honestly, I don't, I don't even know how to use implication gates yet. I get the main idea, I just haven't actually gotten into trying them yet. But um, we'll get into that stuff probably 
a bunch of videos down the road. This uh, video is just mainly, well, for two things. One, um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll realize that quality's gotten a lot better since my last ones. Uh, I'm just testing out a new program with a bunch of set n new settings. And, uh, yeah, should be recording this quality for the rest of forever. <laughs> so I guess that's it for this video. This is just a short video just explaining what logic gates were. And um, I'll go into detail about each of the gates in future videos. So see you guys.